there are protein powders and there are amino acid supplements. What's the difference and what should you be taking? I'm Julene Montgomery. I'm board certified in holistic nutrition and I help people with blood sugar issues like prediabetes, diabetes, and hypoglycemia. Please subscribe if you want to receive regular tips on how to navigate metabolic health. Protein is super important for everyone, but especially if you have metabolic issues. Let's dive into the topic of protein powders versus amino acid supplements so you know exactly what you should be taking and in what situations. Protein is big news these days because it's needed for almost every function in the human body. Now, contrary to popular belief, most people do not get enough protein on a daily basis. And here's why. Most nutritionists are now recommending people consume about one gram of protein per pound of body weight each day. So if you're a 150 pound woman, you should be consuming 150 grams of protein a day. But it's actually not protein that your body needs. It's amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein in the body. There are 20 amino acids in total, and these are broken down into non-essential and essential amino acids. So what does that mean? Well, non-essential amino acids can be created in the body, whereas essential amino acids cannot, and thus must be consumed through diet. These are the 11 non-essential amino acids. And these are the nine essential amino acids, the ones that you have to consume. Now, the typical way you hear to supplement is with protein powder. And this is an easy way to get both essential and non-essential amino acids. Protein powder is helpful if you're trying to build muscle or gain weight. It's also helpful if you have dietary restrictions or if you're a vegetarian and you want to focus in on protein. An important point to remember here is that it's required that you digest the protein so that your body can break it down into the various amino acids. And this can work just fine most of the time unless you have digestive issues where you may not be breaking down food properly. Now, the other way to get the required amino acids is to take amino acid supplements. So let's talk about that. Amino acid supplements can either be individual amino acids, specific combinations such as branch chain amino acids, or a blend of several types like the essential amino acids. So let's talk about the differences between protein powders and amino acid supplements. One of the major differences between amino acids and protein powders is how they're digested and metabolized. Amino acid supplements are usually free form, meaning they don't need to be broken down by digestion before absorption, so they can enter the bloodstream quickly. Protein powders generally contain whole protein. This is an area where amino acid supplements have a distinct advantage, depending on the intended health benefits. Amino acids can also be formulated to target specific health issues, such as gut health. Protein powders are generally used to add total protein to one's diet, provide additional calories, or support specific athletic goals. Amino acid supplements can help support specific health issues, including immune function. Methionine and cysteine are sulfur-containing amino acids that are involved in the production of glutathione, which is a powerful antioxidant that helps protect cells from oxidative stress and reduces inflammation. Taurine, another amino acid, has anti-inflammatory benefits. Glutamine supports immune cells, and arginine enhances nitric oxide production. Gut health. Amino acids that help support the gut include glutamine and glycine. Glutamine can strengthen and help and heal the gut lining, and glycine can assist in the creation of bile acids, which is important for fat digestion. Heart health. Arginine and citrulline are amino acids that help with the heart. Arginine increases blood flow through nitric oxide production and can also help to lower blood pressure. Citrulline works similarly to arginine by increasing nitric oxide levels and improves blood flow, which supports heart health. Physical performance and muscle maintenance. Branched chain amino acids 
which include leucine, isoleucine, and valine, are often used in sports nutrition due to their important role in protein synthesis and athletic performance. This amino acid blend has also been linked to reduce muscle soreness and improved muscle recovery. Glutamine can also support muscle recovery through preventing muscle breakdown during intense training or stress. Finally, mental health and sleep. Phenylalanine and tyrosine are amino acids that can help with dopamine production, which may result in improving mood and even depression. This can interfere with prescription depression medication, so always check with your doctor first. Tryptophan is another amino acid that may improve mood, enhance sleep quality, and reduce symptoms of depression. Glycine acts as an, an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system, promoting relaxation and reducing symptoms of anxiety. And taurine also may have a calming effect on the central nervous system and is also helpful for encouraging deeper sleep. Now, the timing of amino acid supplements is important. For example, if you're taking an amino acid supplement to boost energy for exercise, then you want to take it before your workout. Whereas if you're looking for muscle recovery support after your workout, you'd want to take the supplement after you've finished. If you take tryptophan for sleep, for example, ideally you'd want to take it before bedtime. An essential amino acid blend or one aimed at improving gut or immune health can usually be taken in the morning with your other supplements. So in summary, use protein powder in the following situations. One, you need a complete protein source to meet daily protein intake goals. The best options are powders made from whey protein, beef protein isolate, or egg protein. Animal protein is much more bioavailable than plant-based, meaning that your body absorbs it much better than plant protein. So if you don't avoid animal protein, it's your best option for absorption. Two, you want to build muscle or gain weight. Protein powder will help you get additional calories for energy and muscle creation. And three, you have dietary restrictions or increased protein needs, such as being a vegetarian or a competitive athlete. Taking protein powders can supplement your diet when you need more of all the amino acids. Use amino acid supplements when, one, quick absorption is key, such as pre-workout or during a workout. Two, you have specific amino acid deficiency due to dietary restrictions or a specific health condition. This is typically determined by lab tests or through consulting a doctor. And three, you need to limit calories. Amino acid supplements will help you get right at the nutrients you need without adding calories. Now, your body naturally produces most of the amino acids you need, and it's always best to start with whole foods, particularly protein-dense animal-based foods such as beef, chicken, fish, pork, or eggs. If you're considering taking amino acids for long-term use, then you should always check with your doctor because supplements can interfere with other medications or have long-term implications. So there you go. I hope this info has been helpful. Please subscribe for more great tips on metabolic health. And it really helps me out if you give me a like. We'll see you next time.